Happy Friday, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing a four-box break of 2018 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer. This is break number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to these folks for getting out of the action. And as you saw, the, the combo list on the product page, there are all the different countries in the combos as well. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list two out of five, seven times. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And final time. We've got Nathan on the pole, Victor Z on the bottom. Seven times for the countries. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. After seven times, we've got the U.S. on top, Austria, Chile on the bottom. I don't want to search those. I want to copy those. And then there we go. All right, so Nate, United States, William, Norway, Saudi Arabia, Rex with France, Will with Italy, and Iran, Shannon, Argentina, uh, Victor, Serbia, Senegal, Russia, Daniel Shin with Denmark, Egypt, Rex with Germany, Will, Bartle with Australia, Belgium, Billiam with Uruguay, Jason Lawner with Spain, Stephen K with Sweden, Will with Croatia, Stephen K with Mexico, Jason with Colombia, Sebastian with Japan, Korea, uh, Big Boys 007 Costa Rica, Stephen K with England, Kevin Crouch with Iceland, Will Bartle with Poland and Peru, Rex with the Netherlands and Morocco, Kyle with Wales, Switzerland, Tunisia, Rex with Brazil, that's nice. Will Bartle with Portugal, Anthony with Nigeria, Panama, and Austria, Chile goes to Victor Z. Let's sort by column B. Any trades? While you guys are thinking about trades, we're going to see which four boxes we're going to do. There's two right here and then two on top right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two. We'll be doing that side right there. This we will save. We might be able to squeeze this in later tonight, actually. All right. Stephen K, Victor Z is looking for Mexico. few more moments for trades. And remember, not every box has an auto. So it'll either it'll be either a really low numbered card, which is pretty good. It's like out of 15 or maybe even less, or it's an autograph. So that's how that's how Penny Prism World Cup is configured. Uh, Stephen K, does that does that do anything for you, or shall we shall we continue? I've got myself set up here. This break should take a little under a half an hour, and then after that, not sure what we're, what we're gonna do after that, but we've got a couple hours left. Maybe actually less than that after we, this break is done. All right, Stephen K says he is good, so trade window closed. Let's print this out, actually. That's what I want to do. So Stephen K will hold with L3, who will be grouped with Germany, Sweden, and South Korea. I feel like Germany and Mexico should be able to get out of that group. 
All right, so on the 27th, the random country break number two. Good luck, everyone. A lot of fun parallels here. A lot of inserts. Cup starts in June, folks. That's just like I think it'll, it'll a little under two months. Can you believe that? Mid June, it's gonna happen, and it'll just be madness for about a month. It'll be like March madness. Look at, well, let me take a look at something, folks. <laughs> so Moscow, Russia, is 10 hours ahead of Pacific time. So right now at 8.48 my time, LA time, it is 6.48 a.m. in Moscow. 10 hours? That's crazy. So if a game is at 6 p.m., I don't know if I can do that. A lot, of, a lot of weird hours for watching the soccer. All right, here we go. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, you're playing in the future if you're over there. There's Thomas Vermalen for Belgium to lead things off. There he is again. Now these will ship, but they're not numbered, so that's why I'm kind of breezing by them. Some fun inserts too. There's Olivier Giroud for Belgium. Will Bartle, 99 out of 99 on the Thomas Vermalen. I think former Arsenal guy, if I'm not mistaken. Bernardo Sanchez. So these are also nice, but not numbered. They will ship. Same with this. A lot of, lot of nice parallels that are not numbered. Tim Cahill, Mojo Refractor. There's Cristiano Ronaldo for Portugal. That'll be for Will Bartle. Kevin Morales for Belgium. Zaha. Koscielny. Allison. Cavani. Sergio Guero, Sobi. Have not seen the autograph or the low numbered card yet. It'll be one or the other. There's Ahmed Musa. Casper Schmeichel. And we've got, ah, there we go. For Mexico, L3, Irving Lonzo, Lozano, that is. Irving Lozano. And that goes to Stephen K. 
with L3. Diego Reyes and Shinji Kagawa for Japan. One seventy eight out of one ninety nine for Japan. That'll be for Sebastian. All right, next box. We should call over there. We should call over. We should have a yeah, I'm sure it'll be safe to have a Russian bookie over there, Davy. So, for example, I'm looking at the schedule right now. Let's say I want to watch on a Friday. These are weird schedules. This is L.A. time. So the first match kicks off Thursday, June 14th. Russia versus Saudi Arabia. How is Saudi Arabia in the World Cup? And we're not. Oh, I know why. Because Saudi Arabia was actually winning matches in their, in their conference. And we were not. Anyhow, Russia, Saudi Arabia is at 8 a.m. I don't know what time it is over there. It's probably a night match, but 8 a.m. Actually, 10 hours ahead. 8 a.m., my time, L.A. time, will be the first match. But then on Friday, like Egypt, Uruguay, 5 a.m., Morocco, Iran, 8 a.m., Portugal, Spain, 11 a.m. We got France, Australia at 3 a.m. Oh, man, that's, these are some weird hours. So like, let's say it's Saturday and I watch France, Australia at 3 a.m. It's kind of a weird time. Next thing you know, it'll be like 6 a.m. for Argentina, Iceland. And then by then, Peru, Denmark comes on at 9. And then I'll pass out during the Croatia-Nigeria match at noon, my time. There's going to be some weird, weird times. Weird, weird times. Now, William wants me to pull some of that Saudi fire. He's got Norway and Saudi Arabia. I, I actually have no idea. I couldn't name you one player on that Saudi Arabian team. This is Brian Ruiz. Cristiano Ronaldo. I think we pulled one of those already. I'll set one aside just in case. Harry Kane for England. Chicharito. There's Serbians. Uh, Serbia is a Vladimir Sojokovic out of Gilfi Sigurdsson, David Silva. And there's William Cavallo for Portugal. Nice green cracked ice, 5 out of 25. That is a nice one for Portugal, Will Bartle. Pretty, pretty strong. There's Romelu Lukaku. Oh, uh, there's this guy right here. Let's learn about this guy. It's Mohammed Al Salawi. Al Salawi. There you go. Uh, youth team wants to qualify. Blah blah. blah. Huh. Yeah, but they're playing teams, clubs, like countries like Timor Leste. I don't know. 
Maybe they have a good they have a good youth team. They're 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 getting ready for the for the next World Cup after this one. Domas Muller autograph? No, but it's one of these fun cards. I don't know what's happening here, but oh, that's national landmarks. All right, where is this? From flowering islands to fairy tale castles, Germany is pi as picturesque as it gets. Located in Lake Constance, Incel Mainu is a gorgeous garden getaway with colorful shrubs in the shapes of animals. Nestled in the Bavarian Alps, ornate uh, new. Schweinstein Castle was the inspiration for Disney Sleeping Beauty Castle. Well, there you go. Kind of looks like it. These fun inserts are not too common. There's Mauro Icardi, purple, for Argentina. And there you have it. That was box two. Shrubs in the shape of animals. That That's probably the... That's probably the hit of the box right there for Germany. That'll go to Rex with that one. Could have been this one too. If there's no autograph, it's usually one of those low number of parallels would be considered the hit. And I, I'd like to go to that, that fairy tale esque location. I wonder if it's. I don't know. There could be some old world creepiness there though. You know what I mean? Like what kind of what kind of wizardry may still be still be in that kind of neck of the woods? You know? I feel like a lot of a lot of dark fairy tales that have been lightened up by Disney over the decades. You know, the, the OG fairy tales back there are pretty scary. A lot of that happened in the, the Black Forest, the Bavarian Alps, stuff like that. Those areas are probably terrifying. Could be all sorts of sorceresses and, and wizards and warlocks wandering around there. Elves hiding amongst the, the animal shrubs. You never know what's going to happen there. Maybe that, maybe that castle would be a place I would not wander around in. Maybe drive by, take a picture, and then be like, I was there. That's it. Maybe a postcard or two. box. Oh, we start off with an autograph for Germany, for Rex. Signature moments, Mario Goetze. I bet his signature moment was, was in the last World Cup. Yeah. It was a pretty great goal. Ever uh, Benega, 007 out of 125. As for Argentina, Shannon with that one. Isco. There's Stefan Lichsteiner. Thirty out of sixty-five. For Switzerland, that'll go to Kyle. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. Vertanian. Uh, 
Oh, we were we just learned about this guy, Muhammad Al Salawi. Twenty out of one twenty-five. Someone to eye during the World Cup. And we've got, oh, another Saudi Arabian. We've got Yahya Al Sheri. Everyone knows about this guy, 86 out of 199. He's like a distance runner in soccer boots. Huh. Maybe they're, maybe they're actually a force to be reckoned with. Marquinhos. The Egyptian team should be pretty interesting too, especially with Mohamed Salah on that team. Plays for Liverpool. There's Olivier Giroud. And Isco again. And for Korea, Sebastian with Huang Hee Chan. 16 out of 40. Or Hee Chan Huang. All right, next box, last box. I like the soccer, a lot of fun. Like nice different look to uh, to it. Always fun to learn about new players. Of course, I'm excited about the World Cup coming up, as most of you are, I'm sure. I'm telling you, once the World Cup actually hits, a lot of values of these cards will start to uh, start to do crazy things. You never know. Could could be any one of these. Could be could be Yaya Al Sherry could could score like some ridiculous goal, and all of a sudden everyone's like, We're, we need Al Sherry's autographs. You know, parallels might just go bananas on a secondary market. You never know. Happened last year with a uh, or well, not last year, four years ago with I think like Hannes Rodriguez, I think for Colombia really boosted his his stock during the World Cup. A few others too, but with all the, with all like global attention on the World Cup, there are more people looking for autographs, memorabilia, stuff like that. In fact, any one of these that you that you guys get, it may be worth holding on to until the World Cup. Especially about to make sure that they're healthy, they're gonna play. Still part of the team, you know, all that. Right, nice box. Good luck, everybody. Messi, of course. I could see Argentina finally. They're always favorites to win. I could see them finally doing it this year. I haven't really looked at any of the odds yet, but I'm sure we will as things get closer. No, these are not like Bowman packs. These packs are much nicer. <laughs> Far easier for me to rip. There's Hugo Loris for France. 116 out of 199 for Le Bleu. Danny Alves. France, I think, could make a, a deep run into the World Cup as well. Diego Reyes. And Deli Ali. Autograph. Nice one for the Three Lions. 
Stephen K. With the Tottenham man. Deli Ali. Not sure how England's gonna do. They they always seem they always seem to have like the individuals, but can they put it together? Never they haven't put it together since gosh, I don't I, when, when's the closest? I think they got to like the semifinals, maybe in the early nineties. They haven't really gotten too far too many tournaments since. The last time they won it was nineteen sixty six. And guys like Harry Kane need to ball out. Danielle Subasic, 58 out of 99 for Croatia. Joe Hart needs to step up too. A lot of, a lot of guys need to step up. Daniel Sturridge, where's Dan Daniel? Wherever Daniel Sturridge went, I just thought I just saw him a second ago. Maybe not. Jordan Henderson. All those guys. All those guys need to step up. And there was our autograph, and so maybe another low number parallel. Mojo Refractor. And it looks like that is that. There you go, folks. Random country break number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com of the brand new 2018 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer Football. It's nice to nice to see some soccer products here, start thinking and talking about the World Cup. So join us for the next break next time. jazbeeshobbyland.com. Bye-bye.